Hey guys, it's Leon. Got me another computer speaker to test out today. This one right here is super famous. I've seen this, I've seen this speaker on every single Instagram post that um, I have seen so far. Yeah, uh, it is the Edifier G2000. This one right here is pretty much the poster child of um, gaming setup for some reason, yeah. Whenever I see like a cool desk setup, they usually have this speaker on there. And so I'm pretty interested in it. I just wanna take a look and see how good it really is or are people just getting it because of the aesthetic. Now the aesthetic looks good. You, you already know that, you're looking at it because you, you, you probably have seen the pictures. Let's see if it's, let's see if how good it is. Do you even unbox bro? Oh my God. Okay, never mind. hold on. There's one more that I have not. There we go. Yeah, so anyway, every single desk setup video that I've seen, um, have, they have these. Uh, the reason why is these look pretty small. They're, they look minimalist and they look great on a white setup, which is what I'm trying to do, but it's so hard to find all white stuff. So power cord right here. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping that it would be like USB-C or something, you know? 3.5 millimeter jack. I like that. Just, you know, just pretty much standard stuff, right? And USB-A to USB-A, which is very interesting. I gotta look at that. And then there's also wire attached to this as well. So you're not using the USB to do anything there. Hmm. These are hefty. Um, they look actually a little bit bigger than uh, in videos that I've seen. I don't know why, maybe because they're far away and here it's up close. They're hefty, by the way. Yeah, they're kind of heavy. Which is good because, you know, you want these to be like highly high build quality, right? Okay, so right off the bat, I'm looking at the back right here and you can see like it's got space for some of those uh, base, like that. Lots of inputs here. You got a USB for the USB. Hmm, interesting. Uh, auxiliary in, sub out. So there's actually a sub uh, that you can buy with this. Hmm. And then there's a power in, a DC, which is this one right here that's gonna power everything up. And oh, over here, literally nothing, guys. Um, no ports at all. You've probably already seen this on pictures, but I just want to show it to you. There are probably some lights going on back here and also on the side right here as well. Looking at um, the side on this one right here, this is where all the controls are. I see uh, power buttons right here. Let me see if I can adjust that real quick. And then it looks like there's a volume of some sort right here. There's some uh, light setting and things like that with this button. On the other side, nothing. This one's a little heftier than this one, obviously because there's, you know, controls and stuff in here. Power, let's go ahead and plug the power in. Give this thing a try. Wow, okay, the lights actually looks very impressive here. The blue looks really good. Um, not sure if my camera illustrated for you, but it looks good, yeah. So the purpose of these lights, by the way, guys, I don't know if you know, but if you have a desk setup like this, you want the lights to shine against the wall and then, you know, to give it a nice glow, not literally, you know, shine in your eye. You know what I'm saying? That's why they have it back there. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna use my iPhone to play some music off of the 3.5 millimeter jack. So let's see if it's that straightforward. Let's test out the sound quality here. Turn to aux input. My phone is on max volume right now. This one still has plenty. So that's max volume on this one as well. I think it's reached its peak because I, I can hear the rattling. Okay, 
Okay, so there you have it. That's the uh, straight from 3.5 millimeter out to the speaker. Sound really good. The uh, bass back here is blowing like crazy. So you can tell that it's working over time right there. Very nice. Uh, so next one, let's see it here. Bluetooth input. So now let's try the Bluetooth. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this and connect it to my Bluetooth. Max volume on the Bluetooth. Max volume on that. Let me just turn it down one notch because I can already hear it rattling. I'm not sure what the difference is in music mode, game mode, and game mode. Movie mode. Music mode. So the different equalizer is pretty interesting right there. Um, movie mode, music mode, and game mode. I'm not sure what all those are, but I'm pretty sure when I test this out more, I'll find out. Um, you know, with, with game mode, I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with the surround sound and things like that. So not sure about that. Anyway, there's just a simple button right here that you press on the side and boom, it just works. Uh, but other than that, Bluetooth connects really fast, really well, and can't complain there. Yeah. The other thing is, guys, uh, this USB-A cord to USB-A right here, you see that? You literally plug this thing in and then plug it into your PC and it should just recognize it as a, as a speaker. Pretty, uh, pretty easy right there. So, uh, you know, how I was asking that it, I wish it was USB-C of some sort. Well, I'm glad that they included this because literally you just plug this into your PC and uh, now you've got... Um, the PC just recognized that it's a speaker. Okay, so that's it for me right there. That, this is a really nice looking speaker. I'm glad because it adds to all my all white setup right here. So hard to find white speakers that are, you know, sound good and this small. Um, it rattles a little bit whenever I hit the peak, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll look into it. But other than that, um, this is a pretty solid speaker, guys. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for me right there. I'm out.